Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? It's tragically, what you're looking at is the, the rubble, the ruins. Damascus, Syria has become a ruinous heap. You know, the Bible said in Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, the burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Well, we just got reports. I want to thank Nick of New York for this report. But the Daily Star is reporting that now the death toll has risen to 150,000 people have died in Syria in the last three years. When this war broke out in March of 2011, uh, you know, we've seen it coming. There, was, there had been some peaceful protests. There was folks that saying, we don't want to sod anymore. We don't want to sod anymore. <clears throat> but this thing got real ugly as the Arab Spring spread throughout uh, the Middle East. After uh, the fall of Ben Ali in Tunisia and Jose Mubarak in Egypt and Muammar Gaddafi in Libya and Ali al Saleh in Yemen, the Muslim Brotherhood decided, let's just go for it all and let's go get Syria. Had it not been from the tidings from the north and from the east or from China and Russia uh, at the United Nations Security Council veto, Assad would already be gone. Had it not been for Putin, Vladimir Putin, when Obama says that Assad had crossed the red line, then Assad would already be gone. But because... Assad is still in power, and because the Muslim Brotherhood won't go away, what you have here is a disaster of biblical proportions. Now, also in the Bible, in the book of Jeremiah, he tells us exactly how this thing would come apart. Let me tell you what else the reports are saying. Uh, more than 150,000 people. Exact, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says that they have documented deaths of 150,344 people. 51,212 of those people are civilians. So one-third, one-third of the deaths in this war are innocent civilians. And of that, 7,985 are children. Children dying in Syria. Also, 37,781 people that have died are members of the armed opposition, which would include jihadists from the Islamic State of Iraq and greater Syria area, as well as Al-Qaeda-affiliated uh, fighters. Now, I also know the Muslim Brotherhood are in that count also. Now, a total of 58,480 regime forces of Assad have also died, including 35,000 soldiers. Among those killed fighting on the government side was also 364 members of Lebanon's Shiite Hezbollah movement. Another 2,871 people were recorded as having died, but their identities remain unknown. So the conflict in Syria that started out as a peaceful anti-government demonstration has turned into a biblical prophecy fulfillment. Now I just read to you what Isaiah said, but here's what Jeremiah said. In Jeremiah chapter 49, Jeremiah said this in four verse, five verses. He said, Concern, in Jeremiah 49 verse 23 through 27, the Bible says, Concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded, and Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble, and turneth herself to flee, and fear has seized on her. Anguish and sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men 
shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Ben-Hadad. Folks, this is absolutely fulfillment of Bible prophecy. We are watching before our very eyes in the ancient prophecies of the book of Isaiah and the book of Jeremiah. This ancient city has never seen a time like it does now. And it's the word of God, once again, is true. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Please. We're living in the last days. It's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. And you know, I know you hear me say that all the time. You're saying, Paul, you can just keep saying that. Friend, it is so close. He's even at the door. And I don't know how much more of the Bible signs has to be fulfilled before you and I and everyone out there understands how close we are to the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't be left behind. You think it's bad now. You don't want to be here when the wrath of God is poured out upon the planet. This is nothing. The wars, the rumors of wars, and the, and the anguish that we're going through now is nothing compared to the wrath of God. Give your life to Jesus. We're praying for you. Don't miss today's broadcast. It's going to be powerful. I'm on today from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also, we're on livestream.com and newlivestream.com. Blog Talk Radio as, as under the coming apocalypse. Also, uh, you can listen on your cell phone if you just dial this number, 347 324 5208 that's 347 324 5208 or you can watch the 3 hour broadcast on Roku satellite television if you go to the new live stream channel so god bless you and uh i hope we can help you in any way to find jesus christ god bless <music>